So pretty much, you just got a free EPUB, and you, I'm fairly sure you don't even know about it. Stick around, find out what I mean. Hey again guys, Steve from Australian 4x4 Adventure podcast series and this one is going to be all about that free EPUB that you just got and you probably didn't even know about. If you're new to the channel, maybe think about subscribing, um, leaving a like, comment and join the, join the YouTube family. Hopefully you guys enjoy what I do. This is mainly a, a short format video about individual topics, generally talking about the full drive industry and trying to pull it apart a little bit and just having a conversation with you guys. So, let's dive in to what this one's all about. All right, so unless you guys are living under a rock, you probably would have known that Apple has just released their EPUB on any iPhone 14 model in the market. So if you own an iPhone 14 of any shape, model or shape, you just inherited a free EPUB that works in Australia now. So they've just... It has been in, in operation for in the US and Canada and all that for a while now, and they've just released it a couple of days ago in Australia and New Zealand. So it's now functional and it's working. What that means is, I'll, I'll go back slightly. An EPIRB is basically an emergency um, beacon device. So if you're in trouble and you're broken down, broke a leg, whatever, you can set off a beacon and it sends a a message to an emergency services department and they'll come find you. It's basically, they'll, it sends out your um, yeah, location and stuff. Um, there are other devices that sort of do it as well, or other brands, so there's like InReach and the Garmin stuff, or maybe that's the same one. Honestly, I haven't looked that much into EPIRBs because I don't really travel that remote that often that I've had to worry about it. And people I travel with generally have one, so I haven't had to concern myself with it overall. Uh, I have been looking at them for a trip upcoming because no one else has one in the group. So I have been looking at buying them. And then today, Apple just gave me a free one. <laughs> so I'm super happy about that. Right, what it is and how it works. Essentially, um, there's a couple of brands out there that you can actually text via satellite, but they're a subscription-based service. So you pay your 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks a month and you can use satellite, um, well, satellites to message anyone anywhere. This isn't that. It's pretty close to it, but it isn't that. What this one is, this is an emergency beacon with text messages to emergency services only. So if you hurt yourself, um, you can basically turn on the emergency, emergency button if you've got no signal, and it will allow you to, to basically have a conversation via text over satellites with the emergency services and it also updates your position so they know where you are. Um, the text factor is so you, so they don't, so they know what to send, so whether it's whether they're like getting there straight away or whether it's a no, you're good for another couple of hours, we'll get there, but we're only sending a car, we're not sending the choppers. That sort of thing. So it's it does also have a personal beacon built into it. So every 15 minutes or so, you can basically upload your your position and then anyone in your emergency contact list can actually see where you are as well. So, And that's all via satellite. You don't need any phone reception for this whatsoever. The way that phone receptions work at the moment in Australia will be, say I'm with Telstra, I'm in an area that doesn't have Telstra, but there's there's Optus signal. You can press the SOS or, or dial triple zero and it will use any network provider that's within the area free of charge pretty much it's just oh, it might not be free of charge but it'll it will allow you to connect to it so that way you can make emergency phone calls if there's any type of phone signal whatsoever what what apple's done though is they've taken that away and they've gone we can use a satellite system to text and send out information on your position if there is absolutely no signal whatsoever and you can't get a text or a, vo or a voice call out so exactly what an EPIRB does pretty much. So I've played with it before. I'll put up a bit of a screenshot of what we're doing. And I'm also gonna basically 
go through it on my phone again right now. So once you open your phone, you would go into your settings. This is just, if you want to have a look at it right now and have a play with it. Um, down into the SOS, or type in SOS into, into the um, into the uh, search bar, and it'll come up. This this is down the bottom of there. Will be a demo model, and basically this is what comes up. It gives you a bit of a quick run through on what's what's going to happen. So answering emergency questions during the emergency call, your answers uh, will be basically replied to from there. Using a satellite to send and receive messages. Um, obviously, it'll turn off your, your mobile data to go with it. Uh, this is where I had to basically stand outside and try and point my phone in the direction of where the satellites were. So this is a real-world um, application. You, you would have to basically search the sky. It, tell, it tells you where to search and keep your phone pointed, pointed in a direction of a satellite. You can see there my phone found one and it was basically connecting to the satellites from there. Good, we're connected. Keep pointing uh, satellite to send and receive receive messages. Obviously this says preparing demo because that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, this is an example of the message system that comes up. One of the other cool features that comes with this is this whole message um, dialogue gets sent to your emergency contact. So the emergency contacts that you've got set in your phone, for me I've got Leanne set in there. So as this messaging is happening, she gets an update of this at the same time. She can't reply to it, she can't do anything else about it, but she gets to see what's happening. So if I say, hey, um, fallen off the bike and broke my leg, blah, 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 and the emergency guys are going, yep, cool, we'll send it, we'll send the car out to you right now, we'll send the ambos. She's getting live updates as this happens at the same time because she's under that emergency co uh, contact list. Um, I, I was obviously just having a bit of a play here. For, where's, where's your uh, location? Home. I don't know what else to say, to be honest with you. But this is the type of example of what this system can do. It's actually really, really cool. It's not something you can use to basically text the wife to say, hey, yep, yeah, uh, got to camp, kids are good, um, having a great time, a bit rainy, a bit cold today, but you know, we're, we'll be home in a few days. This isn't that service, this is an emergency service. Um, there are other devices out there that you can message over satellites and as I said before it's that subscription fee um, and of course my emergency breakdown was the fact that the 62 ran out of fuel because it's a 62 <laughs> right so that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys so a lot of you might know about this a lot of you might not know about this but this is pretty much what's what's been released today so I think it's super cool technology that's been released to any Apple user of an iPhone 14 or newer um, so far, they've said for the next two years, this is all free to use for anyone who basically has the iPhone 14 or above. Um, they haven't specified what's going to happen after the two-year period, whether they're going to start charging a subscription, whether it remains free. But I think because it is such a competitive market, um, I, I think they're actually going to keep it as a free thing to help encourage people buy, to buy their phones. That's where the real money is for them rather than getting into that EPIRB um, emergency beacon sort of market is where I think it's going to be at. But I could be wrong. Um, but I'm super excited. The fact that now I own an EPIRB, it didn't cost me a damn thing. <laughs> All right. Let me know what you think down below. Will, do you think this is something that you would rely on and use? This obviously works with the crash the, the crash function as well, which, which was released a while ago. So essentially, if, if it detects that you've had a, a car accident, there's no signal, it will automatically connect to the satellites and send a message out to um, emergency services as, as well. There's a, there's a whole G-force sensor thing in built into the phone, which has been calibrated. So apparently, if you have a serious accident, it knows and it will notify. Um, emergency service at the same, same time, which is a super cool function of these of new technology. Really happy that I've got an iPhone 14. Um, yeah, so let me do, let me know down in the comments down below what you think about it. If if you think this is something you can trust and rely on, it's going to be cool. I hope anyway. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'm really trying to get this channel to 50,000 subscribers. So if you could like subscribe for me, that'd be awesome. Thanks guys. See you next week.